So today I'm going to try and lift this uh, compressor off this pallet. Now I'm really cramped for space in my shop, so it's actually in my garage. So what I've done is I've got my camera pushed into the corner and I've got my uh, check monitor in front. Check monitor lets me see that I have audio and visual um, and I can see the shot and make sure it's framed roughly the way I want. It's been a huge boost in my in the quality of my um, shoots. So first things first, let's see if this is going to go where I want it to. I don't think I'm going to be able to get under the uh, pallet, so I'm not even going to lock these in place until I, I know what I'm looking at. Yeah, no, I'm not. So I've got to get some dunnage underneath here. Looks like I've got about four inches of dunnage that's got to go under here, and then I can get under there and pick this up. So that's going So, what I'm doing is looping back on myself, and what I've done is I've passed the chains through and locked them in the opposite direction, so when I pick this up, it's not going to go anywhere. Now. I do need a way to take up some of this chain. I think what I'm gonna do is just loop on myself. I need to be over a little bit because the center of gravity is over here. So what's happening is my it's dropping to the back so I need to get some I need to stop and get some dunnage back there about five inches worth of dunnage so at this point we'll go back to picking this up well hot damn it picked it up now I need to get my dolly. I don't trust this for a quarter of a second that it's not going to flip on me. So this is either going to work or something really bad is going to happen. I 
have about zero trust in this rig. Yeah, no, I, I, I really don't trust it. And what I really don't trust is I don't trust it not to land on me. Alexa, stop. I set a 15 minute timer for myself. So what I'm gonna do at this point is just continue to kind of work this where I need it. And this is my first lift with this Harbor Freight tool. So now comes the fun part. Is it going to fit between the legs? Oh, it doesn't swivel. You've got to be shitting me. Here's to, I hope it fits, and if it doesn't, I'll have to use some dunnage. Okay, I did lower it. I forgot to film lowering it onto the dolly. I'm sure you guys can imagine that. The um, cool thing so far is that uh, the Harbor Freight dolly has not collapsed. Now, this is supposed to be a 500 pound piece of machinery. I'm not sure I believe that, but we'll play that game for a minute. What I can tell you is that the shop crane did pick up this super duper heavy ass compressor. <clears throat> and helped me get it onto a Harbor Freight dolly where I can now move it around. So, one down, one to go. All right. All right, so let's get this show on the road. So I'm going to go ahead and lower it down onto the se second dolly and uh, hopefully this will be pretty uneventful. has landed. There ain't no eagle. So my friends, that is why I bought this shop crane. Now I'm not done with it. I've got a couple more things to do with these compressors and this crane, but that's today's show and I hope you've enjoyed it. Um, so what we learned is that it really is what is good for what it's rated for and um, the dollies are too which is actually probably the bigger surprise considering they're cheap cheap cheap
Hmm. Yeah, well, I think uh, one of those is misbehaving. So at this point, I'm going to fold this back down into storage. go that takes up a whole lot less space and I think I can put the pallet jack underneath them too now I wouldn't lift them like this but this is just a great place to get that out of the way This can go over here because it'll just tuck in and stay out of the way over here. So there you have it, folks. Thanks for watching my video. Hope you've enjoyed it. And uh, that completes the review of the Harbor Freight dollies and the Harbor Freight one-ton shop crane.